Yes, and we're back for another week. Exactly. And this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Silent <laughs> Third, a.k.a. Nigga Demons, a.k.a. Pablo Escobar, a.k.a. Gary Indiana Jones, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Bra, bra. And it's your boy, Jordan Maddox, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chopra, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Who kid's favorite? Malcolm Vex. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Vex. And last and absolutely the most, it's your wow. mama's favorite podcast. And it's your boy, I Seen Black, a.k.a. Way Big D, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. I can't remember all my a.k.a.s, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Bro, bro. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga. Hold that! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and, and thank you guys for tuning in for another week to your mama's favorite podcast. And this is the Physics Study, study Group. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag TPSG. Word. Word. And we're back at, you know, back for another week. Um, Before we continue, shout out to our guests on the last show. Eclectic conversations, Johnny and John Carlo. Word, Thank word. Appreciate check out the episode. On. Go check it out and show you we're not racist. We had a black and a white guy on mm-hmm. here, so you know you can't accuse <laughs> us of racism. <laughs> we, we've got, that was for Johnny. That was for Johnny. <laughs> we, that was a joke we've got it all here. <laughs> <laughs> word. Physics study group. Yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs> we don't discriminate. We just hate. Because that, <laughs> that was your worry. That we were racist, yeah. Yeah, of yeah. all Trust other me, things. I guarantee you some W's listen to it like, these niggas are funny, but they're racist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. First of all, if you're a W and you listen to us, you Thank take you. a- Thank you. Godspeed. We love taken, you. You've taken a lot of abuse over you've there. You've taken <laughs> a three-year beating to <laughs> be called so W's yeah, so every word. time you hear yourself <laughs> mentioned. Get ready word. for the 97 more years. Word for your- <laughs> you've, been ans- you've been answering for your for your comrades' crimes. But anyway. It is still not enough. Them. It's more to come. It's still not enough. Five hundred years. And if you thought you had enough enough abuse before, well, you've had it now, and you're probably not listening. Whoa, whoa! Wow. <laughs> Need ben. some shades. I got dark. <laughs> Word. Word. But speaking of, you know, we 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 gotta we gotta speak on this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, darkness, uh, and 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 W's and uh, <laughs> well, do, well, 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 inact- darkness. inactive inactive yeah. w- w's Absolutely. you know what i'm saying because you know they 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 jump at whatever nigga wearing fur it's a it's a movement you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying yeah. church church <laughs> church burn burn down in um in europe it's a the movement Notre Dame. it's a movement you no know no some saying? church he's right shit, shit. some church yeah, yeah. Shit. Shit happened that involves you know black people, African people, African. Muslim, Muslim people, you know, and of, of course we're talking about um what's going on in Sudan. Now we're not you know newscasters, but you know the the basic overview of what's going on over there. Um, the the dictatorship was overthrown. Um, the military gained power of the of the government, mm-hmm. and they don't want to relinquish that power. Mm-hmm. So that's the issue. Um, the citizens are protesting against um, this totalitarian like mm. regime that's going on, and these these the, these military officials are going as far as to like killing people, um, raping, rape. Like yeah. it, scores of women got raped, even men got raped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's and they're they're pulling bodies from the Nile. They mm-hmm. still don't even have like a full tally of all the people of who, who who died. That's insane. Word. And my thing is, here's my thing. You you see commercials all the time. You hear about it all the time. Um, U.S. military fighting for the peace and good across the world. They, mm-hmm. they you know they feed you that propaganda mm-hmm. um, right. so that so that they can justify you know funding the military way more than they fund education. Mm-hmm. But where are they now? <laughs> you know this is a, to me this is a perfect time. It's like all right, we have this big you know. Big ass military. Now is the time now to flex the muscle. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm-hmm. They they flex that muscle when they didn't even need to flex that muscle. Yeah, you and know what I mean. Not now. It's like this. Is a to me, this is a perfect time. Like if America, if America was like, hey, we're gonna go da, 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 this war time. I'm like, you'd be down with that. I'll be down with that because it seems righteous. Exactly. Yeah. All the every, shit they've done before is just like for money. And like it, um, when it comes to issues that don't deal with the W's, it's always like, oh, we can't save everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Unless who are you saving? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Who are you saving? Word. If you can't save, like, 
Everybody <laughs> joins the military to be a hero. What are we saving? Exactly. But it's, um like I always say, it doesn't matter until it comes to their front porch. Mm-hmm. They don't care about nothing outside the little bubble. Mm-hmm. It doesn't disrupt me and my wife and my kids. I don't care about it. Mm-hmm. And um, the people love bringing up the whole, oh, where were you with so-and-so? Or where were you with this? Like, are you are you telling me that you you choose causes? Is that what you're telling Word. me? Like, right. no, bad is bad. Word. Evil is evil. People are getting um, murdered and raped. And it doesn't matter where it's happening. So, and sometimes it's on. It's here. Word. Like and, Flint, Michigan. Word. That's and another um good and, example. And 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 to add to your point, are you saying we shouldn't talk about this cause because another cause is going on? It's so counterproductive. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. stupid. It's you so know what I'm saying? Stupid. But what about this? And then. All of a sudden, like, oh yeah, what about that? Then nothing about either thing is happening. Exactly. You know exactly. Yeah, exactly. y- y'all just use exactly. something to shut people and up. The, yeah, that all just, lives matter. It just sounds like <laughs> a lot of people on Twitter who think that they are the authority on all things, um, the just want to have a comment on something. And, well, not it's more than just having a comment. They want to dismiss your argument mm-hmm. by saying, "Well, what about this?" Like there was, I was reading a Twitter feed on the Sudan massacre, um, just looking at comments, just you know to research how people what people are thinking right Mm -hmm. what they're saying and you know the the tweet started with the man saying you know the only reason that there's not any coverage and the u.s is not helping out Mm -hmm. is be is there's three reasons they're black they're african they're muslim Mm -hmm. period Mm yeah and um someone commented in there well all reasons matter oh my god (laughs) and that's exactly the problem Mm -hmm. because all of those reasons are still part of one big thing, mm. and people just want to have something to say. Yeah. You should be told, like, if you have a real solution, shut the fuck up anyway, man. You ain't saying shit. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> no, I just got and, a little frustrated. I guess, um, I don't know, do any of y'all get irritated when you see these types of comments on Well, no, I, man, I see... Cause I do a lot of, cause I do that, I do that same thing on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like I would, I would see a post, and I purposely look through the comments to kind of mm-hmm. catch a, a sample of, of what people are thinking. And I'm usually disgusted mm-hmm. at what people are thinking and how 90% people think. Of the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's always the, the the worst comments are always from white dudes, <laughs> and more specifically, white dudes like or white boys in high school. Oh, oh boy, yeah. the they worst. don't know shit. The what wor- they're learning in school, bro. The <laughs> worst of the worst. If you click on the profile, nine times out of ten, it's a little white boy. Yeah. The other two times, it's a white man. <laughs> you know yeah. and, he, and he's either in the military or he's a hunter. I was gonna say they're usually in the military. <laughs> or, you know, they they live a, a um a more actively maybe violent type of lifestyle. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm brainwashing. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And and what's crazy? I keep cutting you off. They they keep talking. They keep <laughs> they keep um talking about like socialism and all that. Oh yeah, that's but been then a thing. the military is like the key example of socialism. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You go on a compound. You all your meals are provided for. <laughs> you people tell you know what I'm you saying. You obey commands. You, ob- you there's and a, you have to obey the commands. There's a higher get punished. There's a hierarchy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like it don't get more socialistic, socialistic than, that. That. Yeah. than that. And then when you ask these same people. Who benefit off that is about socialism? Nah, nah. Are you so so bums could could get a free meal. It's like oh, so people That's like you who <laughs> SAT scores were shit could go somewhere and have a career yeah. and a food of a plate when of you food know you're and, not make qualified. De- and make decisions that affect the country. Where, like yeah. a lot of like a lot of people, I feel like I have this this sense of superiority. I'm like, bro, if it wasn't for the military, you'd be ass out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You'd be you'd be yeah, if it I, wasn't for the military, it wasn't for the you'd police. Have no and, then, and then you talking about what well, well, we need to raise the minimum wage for. I'm like, you don't, that doesn't apply to you. Yeah. Right. You're, in a, you're in this socialist circle called <laughs> the military. You know what I'm saying? Benefiting on that, Armed living off that, and mm-hmm. then telling other people, it's like, no, you don't get a chance to because socialism is evil. Mm-hmm. Just because you're a dumbass. I don't even want to say <laughs> ignorance, dog, because to me, Hypocrite. yeah, to me, there's too much um, information and there's too much access to information to call people ignorant anymore. Mm, at lazy. some, at lazy, some point, man. you're just a dumbass. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I am sorry. No, but you don't got to apologize. Don't just, apologize for the truth. That's just, that's, that's dumb, dumbassery at its finest, dog. Dumbassery. Dumbassery, dog. Like, every, 
Everybody got a, a, a smartphone. We got computers, bro. In our hands. Mobile. In our, mo- computers. Anywhere, anytime. Any, anything going on. And, and when niggas is like, why are people talking about Sudan? Da, 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 da. My nigga, Google it. Oh, that's <laughs> right here. That's another it one. Took me, it took me 50 <laughs> whole minutes. And that's because I just wanted to be thorough mm. to find out what's going on. <laughs> right. Because I have a computer in my fucking pocket. And But then you don't, you want to ask questions like, why is this? Da, 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 da. Nigga, look it and up. And you're not yeah. reading. And that's and that's just a, a testament to the age that we live in. It's the information age, but it's also the information and don't research age. Like, it's Word. Just, yeah, the every shit at face value age. Word. <laughs> Accidents. Everything that comes at you is just taken at face value yeah. these days. Um, you you absorb it. It becomes your truth. And then you continue with it. And then you end up confusing everybody else with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you end up starting arguments and looking like an idiot because you're backing it up with facts, quote unquote. Um, and also, I don't know if you notice, um, a lot of people are changing their Twitter profile picture to this like certain blue mm-hmm. for Sudan, like to raise awareness. And of mm-hmm. course, you got the assholes like, oh, that's not going to do anything. Like somebody made this meme. Um, you know, the penguins from Madagascar, mm-hmm. like they put that blue on their faces like, um, oh, good job, boys. We saved Sudan, like being mm-hmm. sarcastic. Wow. It was like you, you like first of all, you're an idiot. It went way over your head. Yeah. Because that's not what it was for. It's like you're not gonna change your profile picture and people are gonna stop dying. Word. It's to raise awareness for people mm-hmm. that don't know. Oh, can I can I say something? This is a message to all the face ass niggas out there. <laughs> and all I, of you. Word, all of you. I, I honestly I used to be a face ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you telling people <laughs> that there's answer or their 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 solution isn't going to work isn't helping either nope. nope and and the fact that you do that is just like but what's that going what's that going to do you know what i'm saying da, 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 da. i'm like nigga do you have do you have anything to contribute other than just talking about what how how less effective he's like some people just want to argue bro then they toss responsibility like well i'm not in sudan so Ooh. i don't have to worry That's about well shut up then word just don't talk about anything then go word. talk about sports and all that go shit. go shoot guns and play horseshoes you know That's, what i'm saying like it's random it's honestly most of social media man. So it hit somebody <laughs> somebody's <laughs> listening like damn I don't know. Damn, damn. I, I, I hope so, because that's honestly most of social media. Everyone who thinks their opinion is the most important opinion, when in actuality, you know, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. Fuck that shit. Nigga, if you dumb, you should know you dumb. For real. <laughs> Opinions are like assholes. No oh god. Everybody, Everybody has, has one. Is most of the time they're pretty shitty. No oh god. <laughs> and they stink. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor so I guess we wanna bring that around and say let's Raise some more awareness as we talk yeah. about mm-hmm. Sudan. And let's try, if you think you have a better idea, then why don't you just suggest instead of uh, criticizing what's being done to try to wear, raise awareness? Um, I think it's not humanitarian or it's inhumane to think that, or I should, I should say it's, it's inhumane to act that way. Mm-hmm. Just say, oh, what you're doing doesn't work. But you have nothing else Word. to provide after that. Uh, what's, yeah. what's crazy? Like They don't even care. But you're that's making, why they're acting like you know what I'm saying, and you're, and, you're, and you're so opinionated. But at the end of the day, you really don't care. But if yeah, it was but people that's so opinionated, you would think they'd come up with a solution. Well, if it was happening to their families and them, then they'd have another their their tone would. I'm be trying different. to tell you until it and, comes um, to their porch, until it comes right in front of them. Exactly, and so, but unfortunately, that's not the case. We have a lot of people in this country um, who are privileged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? absolutely. There, most people are privileged. No, I'm not gonna say most. A lot of people are privileged in this country, um, and we especially know about uh, the white privilege issue that's been going on for a while. Mm. Right? A while or forever. A while, but it was <laughs> it was extra prevalent. Not, well, not forever. It was extra prevalent during the finals. I'll tell you that much. Oh also, yeah. Uh, with KD, when when Kevin Durant got in, when his uh when he ruptured his Achilles, and uh, as they were escorting him out of the arena. Uh, fans just started booing. I'm mean, excuse me. They were cheering, so fans were cheering that he got injured. Mm-hmm. I, well, they were cheering because you know KD is a huge threat, yeah. and they would possibly lose if he mm-hmm. was playing. However, you're cheering at this man's demise. Like he just got injured. It's a career threatening mm-hmm. injury. Yeah, like yeah. you know, some people don't come back from that at all. Yeah. So how do you think that it's okay to be happy at this mm-hmm. person's mm-hmm. Demi- uh, damn near demise? Could be de- well, what could be a demise. I think that it it is a, attributed to the privilege in this country. Sports fans 
there when it, if you want to look at capitalism as a whole it's designed to cater to the consumer as much as possible so in order to create more income for you right mm. and that's kind of how capitalism works you mm. it, advertising all that you know who can who can get the most attention and the most money mm. and yeah, with uh, and we we see that rampant within the sports arenas you know mm-hmm. like there's always something uh some reason why they're trying to get you there and it costs a whole lot of money too mm-hmm. uh you know if you're not in the four and three hundred seats at least but but you're gonna spend money in the concession exactly you know, but <laughs> so then you have mm-hmm. these people with privilege who can afford a lot of these seats mm-hmm. who things just go easy for them a lot of the time mm-hmm. uh, from birth because <laughs> they grew up their parents um, I, I remember one podcast uh flock of zulu said it it's very similar to uh, back then with the Romans and the Colosseum and everything. Because exactly. back then, you know, when they used to battle. But well, we were going to get to that. So, like. What? Yeah. No, no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, the fans were, were rampant. They used to throw stuff in the pit and all that. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the fans used to kill them. They wouldn't even get killed by the person they're going against anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, so... but the thing the thing with the whole KD and the injury thing, there's a couple layers to that. One, there is a video that shows that the fans kind of started cheering because at the same time, it was a turnover. So they were probably cheering. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, they were cheering. Wait, they were cheering the turnover. <laughs> they said they were cheering the tono- turnover. However, there's another video where Steph Curry's mom and his father were getting off, we're the, getting bus, off the bus yeah. and they were just berating going him on. and throwing curses at him. And, and his mom is- was going back at him. But of course, his mom was clapping to. right back at you, the you crowd. You can't clap at no black woman and expect her not to nope. clap back. Right. And then what killed me is that the, the, the She's whole- more vanilla. She's black. The whole, <laughs> the whole <laughs> so just, by injection. By, ah, by injection. Black by, 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 black by penetration. Wow. Um, but remember the whole stereo <laughs> like what kills me is the whole stereotype that Canadians are nice. <laughs> and then that ties right back into the prison because when you They're start nice winning, when you start winning, <laughs> when you start doing things you weren't like this is their first time in the finals, it is when they first found it. Yeah. They start feeling a certain type. Oh, yeah, of that's that arrogance. Especially when they bring it down someone like the Warriors. It's the same mentality when you give a person that ain't never had no money. Or no mm-hmm. real job, and they come up, and now they're they think they're the biggest, the best shit walking on the earth, you and they're looking I mean? at people because like, oh, things up. are good. <laughs> we are emotionally responsive to circumstance, period, absolutely, as humans. absolutely. And what we're gonna do is when shit's great, we're gonna get extra excited yeah. because we're motivated by that outside stimulus, but it's also connected to us individually. So some of us lose ourselves and forget who we are in that moment and start to treat anyone any old way because we're excited. Mm, yeah. Truth be told is, but you could see the fuck nigga. Word. But you grow, <laughs> control but, your shit. What's but, wrong with you? But you could see even even like before all that, you could see in how they um how they commentary like how. Even the comment commentators of the sport. Sometimes. Oh, it starts there sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like sure. it starts there. They love to talk about who deserves this amount of money, who da 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 da, who doesn't deserve. Like I hate that. Yeah. Whenever they somebody gets a contract and they be like, so and so doesn't deserve all that money. I'm like, what the are fuck you do writing you the check? Only <laughs> you only you that that person only been training all day fucking life. Yeah, <laughs> for, putting their body on the line for the for the free. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. And that's a like especially when you talk about sports like football. Oh, sure. forget about that it. nigga could have died in high school. He could have died in college. You could, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Every, <laughs> right at every point, at any at point, every you could have you you could have you could have had a, 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 a career injury, yeah. a career, career ending injury. You know, life ending injury. A life ending injury. You know what I'm saying? People finish playing football and can't walk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People stop playing basketball and can't walk. And some of them you know? be in so much pain that they'd rather commit suicide. They'd rather be dead than alive because bro, there's so much pain. Bro, and then you want to be up there like, they don't deserve all this money. Well, do, do, do the earn it? Do the owners deserve all that money? Yeah, fuck yeah. they do. Do, 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 do. do the agents deserve all that? You don't hear none of that. Nope. It's always easier Somebody, said than done. You know what I'm saying? Somebody right. make an extra billion. There's no You don't even hear how much they make. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's why they always have something to say about how much money athletes make. Somebody writes those checks. Yeah. Right? So if an athlete makes a million dollars and some somebody wrote that check for a million dollars, when you when you look at like the employee um um owner relationship, you play you pay your employees like ten percent of the money they bring in. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And you thought college kids had it? Man. Word. So if what you, they do? They do or, have a word. Or you, that, know you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like if so, if you pay a, a athlete a million dollars, that means 
You're making ten off them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Maybe ten, at Maybe least ten. At least I'm just I'm I'm just using I'm just using easy numbers here. You know what no, I'm no, saying? No, I feel you. I feel you. Because so, like most, a lot of these athletes, they they jersey sales pay yeah. for their contract already. Mm-hmm. Where, rip. before they even touch the field. That uh, and that's another reason why um whether it be athletes, rappers, if you're in an industry, if you're in a career that you that's usually short. Especially football players. Mm. Some they say the NFL stands for not for long. Yeah. Especially certain positions like running backs, where every time you touch the ball, mm-hmm. somebody trying to take Kill your you. head off. Yeah. They go through so much. Mm-hmm. That's why um um I only accept those comments from people that play. Yeah. Like niggas like Skip Bayless and Fuckboy Jones, all them niggas. <laughs> yeah. They like they have no space to talk no about what niggas deserve. Mm. What niggas should have. What, it, sorry, let me not say niggas. What players should have, what players shouldn't have. Because they never had to go through that. Mm. They maybe play Pee Wee, but that's that apples it. and Word. oranges. You know what I'm saying? Like Word. you have no and yeah, the level of especially with football. Yeah. I've never seen a sport with people where where People who have never played have are so opinionated. Yo, or, strong yeah. opinion. Or, 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 and Myself cons- included. I've, consi- I've been guilty. Consider themselves experts, dog. Mm, There's yeah. some. Pe- there are people who consider themselves football experts yeah. that just never played the sport. Never put and on that's, a pair of cleats. To me, that's that's problematic. Yeah, it's hella problematic. No, but then they'll bring up the argument. Oh well. There's people that study things they never did. I understand if you study it. It's still you not can the still same study. It. You can study. You can know the intricacies, the in and outs of it. But until you experience it, you have no experience. Is for the, the player. exactly experience mm-hmm. is always the best teacher. Mm-hmm. You have no understanding of how the game works and the ins and outs. Like, <clears throat> he, like you just see it in between the lines. There's more in this. In this, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? In this microwave, you know, microwave generation, rap, generation. <laughs> you know, cookie cutter. Everything's got to happen. Right now, mm-hmm. and everything's a certain in front way. of me. Um, that's that that. Look, just remember, guys. <laughs> There's 24 hours in a day, man. There's so many things that can happen in an instant. Your brain is thinking of a million different thoughts within a second. Mm-hmm. So. There's so much that could go into any activity that you're doing, mm-hmm. and without experience in that activity, you're not gonna know what it means to be a part of that activity. You mm-hmm. don't know the stresses that come with it, the worries that you have once you step out on the field. You don't know the feeling of your cleat digging into the grass. Mm-hmm. You don't know any of that. Or, so fact. shut up. Or, or, some, <laughs> yeah. or somebody else's cleat digging into your calf. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, man. And if you injury. ain't been hit by a cleat, boy, you don't know Word. what pain is. Man. Word. And, and that, on top of that, that happened in any outdoor sport where you yeah. wear cleats. Soccer, exactly. football. <laughs> Soccer be the worst sometimes, bro. When niggas be trying side to, tackles and shit. When niggas oh try, be trying to, you trying to head the ball, but a dumbass nigga be trying Wanna to kick head, it. Oh god! At the same time, yeah, that's a formula for disaster. Boy. Word. And then to make it worse, um, back to the football thing. A lot of these players, they t- like they'll go through preseason, and personally, mm. this is just a theory. I feel like those preseason players go even harder. Than the regular season player because they're trying to make the team. Oh right. yeah, those regular season niggas are all in contract. They know For they're sure. playing. Mm. These preseason dudes are like, I'm either gonna make this season or I'm or going back cut. to work in public. Mm. Mm. So they go through the brunt of that, Word. and they don't even get the reward most of the time because they get cut, they don't get signed, Word. they get waived or whatever. Word. So they went through four games of preseason of possible concussions mm. or a concussion mm. or some type of injury. And no reward. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's, it's it's fucked up, though. Yeah, it's, it's really fucked up. And, and yeah. we perpetuate about watching yeah. it and buying gear right. and, and talking about it. And but it, and I digress. It's 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 a <laughs> somebody's angry. It's a spe- <laughs> no. It's it's especially worse with the NFL. Yeah. Because what the NFL does, they try to monopolize the sport, so mm-hmm. they they close like the uh-huh. the the um the opportunity pool, like bas in NBA and then you you don't make it to NBA. You could play in China. You could play in Croatia. You could play right. anywhere. And literally, you several. You could play anywhere. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You mean you're not making as much money, but, but you're you making what you love. good yeah. money. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You could play. You could feed yourself. Whatever. Dog. Side NF- note: NFL. Your family and your homies. Side Word. note: You know stuff on Marbury, Starbury. Nah. This man has a statue in China. So kids, the NBA yeah. is not the only. Way. Sorry, the NBA is not the only way. It's the best way, mm-hmm. money wise, but it's not the only way. Stephon Marbury started NBA. He he was good. He kind of fell off because of injuries. Mm-hmm. Now he has a statue in China. Some niggas ain't got became no statues one, nowhere. Became one of the best point guards to ever do it in China. Yes, <laughs> but guard, right? continue. Yeah, he's a point guard. 
Word. He had a tank head too. But then, <laughs> but then even with the NFL, though, they try to do it over England, but like, you know, them greedy mother, this is our sport. Da, 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 yeah. da. You know what I'm saying? So you don't make it to the NFL. You might try the CFL. You know what I'm saying? They got arena football, which is an entire different sport altogether. As to making money, I have a friend of mine, shout out Jeffrey Remington, played over in China, played for the Chinese national team. We got a court named after him the other day. That's what? awesome. He's actually a Nike athlete. He watched the Yo. dunker kick, the uh, NBA 2K19, one of those dunkers. Uh-huh. When he dunked, he did the motion catch thing. Oh, That's wow. dope. Wow. If that's a court. Avenue. Yeah, he played yeah. The He's the first ever player outside of California, non-pro, to play in the Drew League. Wow. Nice. Oh, the Drew League is strictly Cali? Oh, I didn't know Cali that. Cali or NBA. He's the oh. first person outside of Cali to come play over there. That's crazy. Wow. That's See, crazy. look at He grinds hard. He works hard. He didn't make it to the league. He, he playing over in China, making good money for the family. For sure. Yeah. Word, word. For sure. Yeah, and that's... And... Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> so just so you know, like, you know, the, the, the media, you know, when you turn on your TV, it's a very... It's tunnel vision, man. Straight up, mm-hmm. that TV stands for tunnel vision, my nigga. Word, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, TPSG shit. dictionary. What's tunnel up? Vision, TV. That Yo, so, no, you yeah. need to block this out. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I man. never thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, hold on, I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that down real quick. That's a, that's some merch. I never a, thought about that's that. Some, that's some. That's some. That's some merchandise but what's crazy, coming you know, soon. Pending, you know what I'm saying? Bad, 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 that shit tunnel vision TV. <laughs> Dude, not but you know nothing under the sun. So I know some guy somewhere in some shack. Like, hey, it up. I said tunnel vision seventy two years. But I never <laughs> followed my dream. Word. It's my fault. <laughs> and then I'm gonna split the money. Merchant right. merchandise <laughs> coming soon. Yeah, I even seen it in um in Formula One. Mm-hmm. This whole this this bias, mm-hmm. yeah. So um, y'all know Lewis Hamilton, right? Um, no, Lewis. tell us. Uh, Five time <laughs> Formula One world champion, um, black cute. You know what I'm saying? Black, blackity black, black, he black. The, 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 the nigga be rocking braids, making people hot. Straight, he pulled off the helmet. He rocking the kawaii. Bro, he got, bro, he got the bro, straight back. <laughs> bro, bro, he got white people hot in Europe, bro. bro he be he, taking off the Formula One helmet, rocking the braids. braids? People like. Mm. Mm. What is this? He got a nose show? This man got a nose ring Word. and a douchebag cross <laughs> earring. <laughs> just saying. Word. And his name but, is Lewis. But, but, but then he's the only person I've seen with that earring who I didn't was like, oh, that's oh yeah. <laughs> Doesn't Neymar Not have one? Soon. Huh? Neymar? I yeah. Think? And, yeah. But Neymar is kind yeah, of, he's, he's kind he's of a douchebag. Kind of he's, <laughs> yeah. he's on offensive iffy. Like, like, nah, he's, he's, he, uh, you, you, you gave a young, with Neymar, you gave a young man, uh, a young nigga too much money too quick. <laughs> yeah, that's Yeah, he's kind of, but <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he's a skilled player, but you touch him, you go, oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, see, that, that's why that nigga don't want to play in the Premier League. Anyway. Ooh, <laughs> anyway, oh, anyway. Boy. Oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. But, um. Want that smoke name on? Word. <laughs> you want that smoke name on? Come over to the Premier League. Yeah. That PL smoke. Word. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga was at Barcelona talking about. Oh, I want a challenge, and he went to PSG. Awful. Top top team in Fr- in, in Spain. I want a challenge. Top team in France. You're still winning championships anyway. <laughs> anyway See, anyway. I don't know much about international football, but when you said PSG, I knew it was bad because that was like the shitty video game. <laughs> that came out. Wow. Yeah, just saying. You remember that PSG came? That you're, came talking about, um, that Pet, you're talking about Pets. PS. And it's still around. Oh, it's PS? I yeah. thought it was PSG. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, PS. Okay, and people, you, people swear by P, like there's a there's a debate between FIFA and, and PES. Like it's, it's it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's really people bad. swear by it, dog. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> and that was another TPSG. Wild ass. <laughs> Tangent. We haven't it's had been a couple episodes it's, it's, yeah, yeah, since yeah. we had one. Focus, guys. Uh, Word. <laughs> but, but anyway, <laughs> so last last um, race was the Can- Canadian Grand Prix, right? Okay. So Lewis Hamilton won, but he won on on by controversial means, like on a technicality. Kind yeah, of the person behind him, him and another driver, Sebastian Vettel, was was battling for first. You know, okay. Lewis was right behind him. Vettel fucked up. And his wheel spun up behind him. He ran off the track, and he he didn't have control of the car, and the car ran back on the track in front of Lewis, and Lewis had to brake hard to avoid a crash. Okay. So for that, they gave him a five second penalty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So with a five second penalty, um, Lewis finished right behind Vettel, but Lewis won because because of the of time, the, oh. because of the five <laughs> second penalty, mm. bro. 
the Formula One world erupted. Oh, dog. I can Kidding imagine. Me. They were like, this is a race in Lewis. It's a penalty. Yeah. Lewis, like, you got a, a penalty, those bro. rules are there before Lewis Hamilton that's started how it racing. Works. But see, <laughs> but 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 see, like this is where the bias is, bro. Because mm. I know had that been the other way around. Lewis, like they would have been. Yeah, but like hey, Lewis was so rules. close. They they would have said <laughs> rules is rules. Yeah. Bro. So That's they're my favorite one. <laughs> so they're they're saying how the the Vettel's the true champion. Da, da, da. Mind you, Lewis won like last how many other races? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But That's this man, true. this man had a chance of winning one time, <laughs> one time against him. one time. Yeah, but then salty they, as fuck. they they cheated him. Da, da, da. He's a true champion. Da, da, da. I make it worse at the end of the race. The top three cars park up right. Mm-hmm. And they have signs first, second, third. So Vettel brings his car up. He goes in front of Lewis's car, takes the the first place sign from it, and puts it in front of his car. On he some, just took it on some baby shit. Nah, Lewis, you playing his ass. Now see, but the, but the, <laughs> what? That's on some baby shit, dog. The reaction. This man's a legend. Da, 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 da. You're kidding me, bro. I'm telling you, white privilege. What? I'm telling oh, you. Oh, God. I, I don't mean to take it off four over the one. Bring it back to football. Oh, no, 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 don't do that because I'll, I'll talk about uh, that. Oh, Richard Sherman. <laughs> Remember Richard yeah, Sherman? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. When he was, um, uh, what was the reporter's name? Um, wasn't, it, wasn't it Skip? No, it no, wasn't, it wasn't Skip. Skip. It, it was, was on the field. It was a white lady. Oh. That's what made it worse. Oh. Not only was, it was she white, a white but woman. she was a white woman. Yeah. Mm. He went up there. He didn't say a word about her. Mm. He didn't say a word about nobody but the other team who he was talking about mm. because that's what athletes do. Mm. If you're going up against, Kansas City, mm. who are you going to talk about? Kansas, Kansas City. City. Mm. But they made it seem like he punched her in her Aaron throat. Aaron Andrews. Aaron Andrews. What did she say? She, she, didn't, she didn't do anything. She was, no. she was right there as a 6'3 football player screaming at her. She was just like, oh, you know, she wasn't scared, but she was like, oh, shit. But what he, was he screaming? He was screaming like, you know, we're better. They thought they were going to win. You know, talk about Screaming into the mic. No, no, screaming at the camera. He was oh, screaming at the okay. mic. She was just there like... You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a big dude. Anybody would do that. But it was like, oh, he made her scared. Like, no, he didn't scare her. This man is a foot taller than her. And screaming over, of course she's going to do something. But but then on top of that, he just finished an intense game to go... That was a game. That was a championship game, right? To go to, he's going to the Super Bowl. Let the man be excited. You're, he didn't curse. Well, maybe he did curse, but he didn't curse her. He was talking about the other team. He was talking trash like every athlete does, mm. and they vilified the man for it. And on top of that, he went to Stanford. He graduated with honors. I probably has a PhD or a doctorate or some shit. He's not some dumb nigga from Compton, even though he is from Compton. He's not but some he's, dumb nigga from Compton. He's one of the most articulate athletes easily, out there, I'd say. Easily, uh, But on top of that, nigga, you're an NFL reporter. Of course, you're constantly going to be around aggression. So yeah. if she was scared... No, it wasn't her. She, it wasn't her. I know it wasn't her. Okay, I'm okay. saying... Let me finish. My so <laughs> we should know how she feels about it. Because mm. she's probably just like, I'm backing up. To some people, you might look more frightened than you actually are. Because mm-hmm. we don't good, know yeah. you or your first is it, facial Isn't Aaron Andrews like a... a, a, a yeah, she played a, WNBA. Yeah, WNBA. WNBA. Isn't she like a, a what, Hall of Famer athlete or something? Yeah, yeah, I think she played... Uh, she's yeah. an athlete. I'm yeah, not sure what sport. But yeah, it's shit like that. Man, she, makes it and she's not like... She's not a small woman herself. No. Like she's six nah. something, I, I believe. Yeah, it she makes, gotta be. And it Maybe makes, she's a swimmer. And it makes it even worse. No, no, no. She plays basketball. It's basketball. Okay. It makes it even worse. Everyone wants to come out and feel like they're protecting somebody or have a cause. Yeah. Right. She's an athlete who is around other aggressive athletes her whole life. She's okay. Yeah. yeah leave her alone. And one of the most aggressive sports. Sport. And, and, and white women have been known to, to, to weaponize the fact that they're white that women. Fear. Oh, that, that absolutely. fear. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, Aaron Andrews didn't have to do nothing for for people to... For it to be an issue. Yeah, but... but, but like, yeah, people, been, other people made it an issue. Yeah. Word. I do. I do want to lightly, you know, just go back to the Formula One and the white privilege and how he took the first, how the other racer took the first place sign off of Lewis. He took mm. it off of Lewis Hamilton's car. Yeah. And um, I mean that's that's a complete testament to that white privilege and bringing it back to the KD injury or, where people just the, feel the, like no matter, they, you know, they forget called him a matters. legend for that, but it had Lewis done that same thing. Oh, classless. But how, that's the first word he but, used. Classless. But here's the thing, yeah. like. Classless, aka nigger. Yeah, you, you <laughs> yeah call cold him, word. You call him a legend because you think that there's an argument to why he should be in first place, yeah. but there's no argument. There's none. The regulations uh, worked word. because they're there for a reason. Word, right? Because he could have caused an accident. You should have not lost control of your car, my see, nigga. But see, that's so that, you. See, that, see, that's how is thing. he a legend if he see, lost that's control? A, so that's the thing. Like people, <laughs> people, and uh, it started with a commentator. 
Of course. The commentators were like, because all <laughs> they're all former drivers. Or like, they're like, well, how could he have... Duh, 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 duh. But like, it doesn't matter. He gained the unfair advantage over the situation. Yeah. If you gain an unfair advantage over the situation, you need th- that needs to be rectified. Yeah, he impeded Lewis. So he gets imp- like, why word. is that? So, I don't but, even watch Formula One. It doesn't make sense. Like, word. But then the thing is, um, the argument is, because um, the, the rest of the race... Lewis back like he didn't he didn't force the issue to pass him uh-huh. because he know he had a five second penalty. Oh, so okay. he didn't so he didn't have to fight. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. But he, the thing is, he would have if you were yeah. watching the race. Lewis would have passed him. Yeah, it was a, it was going to happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But this, this, just a this, penalty. Yeah, kind of. But, yeah, then, but then this happened. It it, it 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 stopped. It stopped pretty much essentially the race. As 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 it was happening, that's ridiculous. Like, but then they they're blaming Mercedes and 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 Lewis Hamilton. Oh, so everyone but pay. themselves. Trust Where, me, that, 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 is that a surprise? It's the 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 organization that that um that issues the rules is called the FA, FIA. So the big thing on social media is mafia with the FIA. Oh, gee. that's creative though. It is. It is but creative, I don't agree with it. They, it's al- creative, they always have. They always have some yeah. some some wild shit. One um, thing. One thing I cannot wait for. And even though Formula is very specific, the KD thing, the NFL, da da da. I cannot wait mm. till my dog Aaron Magruder, hey, mm-hmm. creator of the Boondocks, by the way, if you didn't know that, puts it into one of them episodes because I don't know if you know Boondocks is back. No, oh, yeah. stop playing, bro. Dead serious. Stop playing. Serious as a Oh, wait, attack. Boondocks with Aaron Magruder. With, with that, um, Aaron Magruder. That's for sure. For sure. I'm not dreaming. Google it. <laughs> I'm not dreaming. I'm Ow! Ow! You're not dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Boondocks is fucking back. You can feel pain in your dream. Punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel pain in your dream, I got some... Um, Bad news for you. <laughs> Bad news for you, but um, you, you I feel buy- like... I, I, personally, I feel like... He has too much material mm. because when was the last season that he worked on? Because about I think the last ago. First of all, Trump wasn't even in office yet. Trump didn't even I think about running for president yet. So yeah. there's material on top of oh, realism yo, based on that alone. He's probably at his crib licking his chops, rubbing his hands. <laughs> like, I got something for him. Licking his Word. chops. Jesus. Word. <laughs> no, but, no, but for real, like, um, I feel like this is one of the best times from the car because oh, for sure. I don't know if it's the internet or because... Since we're older, we're more cognizant of things. But I want to say between 2019 and 2010, they call it the 2010s because that's the decade, mm. has been the craziest decade of my life. As far as news, yeah. as far as like finding yeah. out shit, yeah. deaths and situation. And remember, 9 11 happened in 2001. One. Yeah. And that, was, that was a decade that was before. A but yeah. From 210 to now yeah. has I'll, been the craziest decade. Even I'll, though it's nine years, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Craziest decade of my life. Yeah. Easily. Easy, man. And Easy. I know, like I said, Aaron Magruder's is at home. Like, I, I got like 10 seasons for you on this, Word. man. Or Word. he's going to try to put everything in like one episode, but I don't know. We're going to see. You know, I have a, I have a few. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna wrap the episode with this. I have a theory that between the eighties and the nineties, we fell off in terms of like wokeness. I feel like black people, black people. I feel like in general, we we feel like we arrived because I feel like I'm because I'm looking back. I'm looking back at like high school mm-hmm. and even before that, like the 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 racism in hindsight, the racism was there, mm-hmm. but people didn't take it serious. Mm. People thought it was like, oh, you know, some some people made black jokes sometimes. I'm guilty. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You yeah. even you might even catch yourself kikiing with some of them white people. Like, eh, whatever, that's funny. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. some of us do do that. But then, but then <laughs> when <laughs> when shit started to happen and people had to choose sides and you realize that people aren't as progressive as you thought they were, mm-hmm. I feel like that's where it was, it started kicking up again towards like the late 2000s, the 2010s, where people were like, yo. This country still has a long way to go. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the benefit of the internet. Because yeah, you see things that yeah. you wouldn't have seen before. Yeah, you learn things that you would have never it's, learned in school. Like, no I've problem. learned more stuff about black history on mm-hmm. the internet than I have in school. Oh, definitely. And that was, yeah, like, and sure. the, the little bit I learned in school was through, only because of some renegade teachers word. that, you know, taught outside of the curriculum. And I thank her for that. Oh, what yeah. Did that tell you about the system we're in? Oh, it tells you everything. I remember shit they tell us Christopher Columbus was a good guy. Yeah, oh, they definitely man. Told us I that. wish I knew what Christopher Columbus really did back then. Bro. They would have expelled me. Bro. I was the weird <laughs> kid in class. Me? I was like, but he was a murderer. <laughs> me too. Oh, yeah, yeah, they teach me all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, I went into ninth grade having already read 
Marcus Garvey. Oh, <laughs> so you were I, militant, bro. Oh, I was the man. dude because people used to look at me weird because back then, um, back then they were calling girls with their natural hair nappy. Oh yeah, niggas. Yeah. yeah, and I was just like, I like women with natural hair, and people looking at me crazy. Yep. Nappy hair. You know what I'm saying? Now, now them same niggas. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. still. I like the natural. They shave but no, 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 no. <laughs> them, yeah, yeah. No, them same niggas. They married to white and Spanish women now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So That's it's like, <laughs> so it's like you, you see the, you know. But then it's like, we were supposed to wrap the episode on that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, important it's like conversations, man. Honestly, that's a very important conversation to have. So Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick this up. But for now, mm-hmm. this is Flocka Zulu, Extra aka yourself. Nicodemus, <laughs> aka Extra Sir Black Sterling the third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Gary Indiana Jones, aka no more AK Stop the Violet. Boop, boop. It's your boy Jordan Maddox, aka Lafayette Trofa, aka Wade Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifanakis. AKA Bro Bro Malcolm Vex <laughs> <laughs> And you know it's your boy I seen Black aka Black Dynamite aka Wade Bixby aka Shabby Ranks aka <laughs> Holy Pacaroaches aka Uh oh Swiss Army Nigga Swiss Army Nigga Swiss Army Nigga Swiss Army Nigga Good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs>